friends, today I have a special baby card to share made especially for my wonderful friend Emily who's expecting twins. I couldn't resist making Emily my favorite kind of shaker card, one with glitter and words, and I had to include two baby bears. Now I'm going to start by making my glittery background for my shaker card. I have an A2 card from 110 pound solar white cardstock. I'm going to tape off the edges before I add a little ink blending and glitter. The reason I like to leave the edges uninked and unglittered is that I like the edges of my white card to still be white, <laughs> which is just a quirk. <laughs> and I find that the foam tape I'm going to use for my shaker container sticks better to a non-glittered surface. I'm also going to use even more tape to tack the card down to make it easier to ink blend. Then I'm going to add a little color by blending Distress Oxide Tumbled Glass and Cracked Pistachio, kind of overlapping in the middle. For the glitter, I've pulled out some Nouveau Glitter Drops. I'm using the glitter drops for two reasons. Number one, they do not get enough love in my craft room and I have a lot. <laughs> and number two, and this might be the more important part, I'm running low on Nouveau Glimmer Paste, which is my main love, so I have to find good alternatives. Now since the oxide inks are water reactive and Nouveau drops are water based, I'm applying the drops along the edge of the tape to avoid making any big watermarks in my ink blended background. And then I'm just spreading out with a squeegee. I clean off my squeegee while the drops are still wet and then pull my big layer of tape off <laughs> so I can set the card aside to dry. Now I have my card front and shaker window to work on. I'm using the Pretty Pink Posh Baby Die Cut to make my window. I secure it with a little purple tape and run it through my die cut machine. When I remove the die, I can save the letters for another project, but I do want to save the little letter insides for this card. So I just pull them out and then use a little piece of purple tape to stick them to my mat so they don't get lost. Then I pop my die cut panel in my Misty so I can stamp the baby bears. But I also know that I'm gonna add the second baby word later on, so I'm borrowing the die <laughs> to use it for spacing to make sure I get everything spaced where it needs to be and no baby bears in the way of that word. Then I can close my Misty, pick up that bear stamp, ink it up, and stamp. And then I can move the panel and add my second baby bear. Now to turn my die cut panel into a shaker window, I just need to add acetate to the back. So I've got double-sided tape all around the edges of the acetate, but I'm also adding a little liquid glue around the letter openings just to make sure everything is nice and stuck down. Then I'm using my glue pen again to put those letter middles on the front of my shaker window. And once my shaker window is finished, I can assemble. But I have to tell you, <laughs> after taking the purple tape off my card and testing it on top of my um, panel, or testing my panel on top there, it seems I've missed a little spot in the corner of my Y. So I need a little more blue ink and a little more glitter in that area. I just put a little piece of purple tape to cover the edge. I ink blend a little more tumbled glass and then add a little more of those Nouveau glitter drops and smooth them out with my squeegee. Now, <laughs> after that little bit of extra glitter dries, I've just got a super simple shaker container that I've built with foam tape around the edge of my card. I've added lots of sequins and I just need to adhere my panel on top. Now I only pull the liner paper back part way so I have a little more wiggle room to get things straight, which is something I learned from Julie Ebersall. She's a crafty genius. For the second baby word, I've die cut the baby script three times, um, two in white and one in black, and I'm layering them together with a glue pen. I like that the glue pen gives this a little bit of wiggle room as well so you can make sure you've got everything lined up perfectly and stacked up straight. Then I'm just going to adhere that on top of my shaker window and add a few baby bottles and this card will be finished. So thank you so much for watching. You can find more information in the video description, including a link to my blog where I've got more photos. And definitely tell me what you're doing today. Leave me a comment because I love hearing from you. So thanks for watching and happy crafting.